then okay so session has been started now and let's start so in our last class if uh, we see that we were discussing about the different kinds of fm right the normal function module the update function module the rfc function module right so we understood how these different types of fm behaves and how we can use these fms moving ahead uh, we will see some different topic in today's class okay so function module we have completed code redundancy handling is nothing but reusability so with the help of includes uh, subroutines and function module we handle the redundancy right so multiple time writing the code multiple time instead we use the subroutine or function module and we call that subroutine or we call that function module in our program in order to improve the reusability and reduce the multiple time writing the same code okay so that's the code redundancy okay so we'll start our report now so whatever we have on uh, learned the concept if we are good in those concept it's very easy to develop any kind of report okay it's very very easy to develop any kind of report so first we will define one requirement and then we will go ahead and we will see that how we can develop a report let's go to the system and let's define one requirement for example suppose if we have to display here we have the report requirement okay or use case so the requirement is what we are having the requirement okay the requirement what i have that i have to fetch the data from mara table okay fetch the data from the mara table this is my first requirement based upon the material type okay based upon the material type then we can also have the material creation date okay then so this material creation date this can we pass in form of range also like for example 5 june to 10 june like that we want to fetch list of all the material which has been created during 5 june to 10 june okay so the requirement condition what i have as of now that this is my mara table and in this mara table i'm going to pass the two value okay the where condition will be uh, my where condition will be two where condition right so one is the material types so the technical name of the material type is nothing but mtart okay mtart i'm going to pass it over here for the material type and then the creation date so technical name for the creation date is crdat i believe i'm not sure we will check this one what is the creation date okay so based upon this what we are going to do that we are going to get some value so what values we want to get we want to get some uh, multiple value all list of material i want to get okay all list of material i want to get whatever material type i'm passing those material type also i require okay then industry sector and then material group four fields i'm uh, looking to get into the output field 
Okay. So I'm trying to get the matner material number m tart m b r s h and then m a t k l. So this is my fourth field. So the, all these fourth fields we have to display on the output screen. Okay. So this is a simple requirement here we are having as of now. Okay. So after once and you know the fetch the data from Mara table based upon the material type and material creation date and display on the output many times we have seen in the past just we are revising it and based upon this on top of this we will uh, create one you know a complex report and in turn we will also see how we can develop a interactive report so this is the base on which we are going to uh, create okay on on which uh, on which we are going to create the report so this is my first requirement on top of it we will define the validation right so suppose someone is putting some invalid material type okay so the system should give the error that this is the invalid material type right we'll also give some radio button on the selection screen so either someone if if someone is willing to uh, get the data from the table based upon the material type or based upon the you know creation date or there can be multiple criteria right we will see one by one step by step we will see there let's go and create one uh, basic report come over here and now log into the system and let's create the program so this was i think 20 let me check if is already created it's already there let me check which one is the last report <clears throat> so 22 is the last one so 23 we can create now okay let's create the 23rd report so here the basic reports some people tell it classical also okay basic report or classical report we are just going to create over here in this we'll also see the different types of event let's define the first requirement over here uh, let's uh, uh, achieve the first requirement so whatever we have done over here in the first step we are going to do this one okay so <clears throat> where condition uh, on the selection screen i have to pass what material creation date and uh, material type date this should be on the selection screen so that i can pass this value into this mara table while selecting the query on the mara and i can get the value so whenever you have to pass the value from the selection screen you require of parameters okay so that is known as the parameters this is the keyword this will help you to get the value from the selection screen so p underscore one is material type type this can be maximum of eight characters okay this cannot be parameter name cannot be more than eight characters okay the type i'm just going to use the m type itself this is the data element okay full stop now another parameters i want suppose uh, so see like uh, for creation date what i want for creation date i want the range option right but if we're going to use this parameters over here for the date you will not get the range option for range option you will have to use a keyword called select option i will show you that one okay so first i'm using as a parameter creation date cr underscore date all right so let us check it is of uh, more than you can see it's a more than eight characters so if you will see if you try to check the syntax over here it will give you the error just it got hanged yeah so now it's fine type 
and I have to check what is the field for this creation date. Go here slash O S C thirty eight. Sorry, S C eleven. S C eleven. Give the Mara table over here, and we will see the creation date. What's the name of the creation date over here? You can see the created on. This is the you know this is the field name E R S D A. Copy this field name. Okay. Give uh, sorry copy the data element name so data element is also same copy this one and paste it over here okay pretty printer and just activate this some error is there that is the error only because you can see that can be up to eight characters long only here I have given more than eight characters that was the problem check the syntax now it's fine activate it's a activated and if you press f8 you can see that here for the material type this is coming for the creation date this is coming so a parameter here you can see that it will give you the date option right so from where this property it is taking automatically it is giving you the date option here it is showing nothing right it is determined by the type where you are defining over here so type you are giving here ersda so this ERSDA is the data element and this is of type date data type. So date data type is this, you know, inbuilt system type and it is having the property to give you the, you know, a four option over here. That's why you are able to see the, uh, you can select from there, right? Now, uh, let's go ahead and, but here, uh, what I want that here, I want to give the date range here. You can select only the, single you know single date so suppose i want to choose from 9th june to 18th gent or some in future i want to get some you know the material which, ha which has been created between 2010 9th june 2010 12th june 2010 or 12th june 2020 right so some range i want to give so for that purpose you have select option okay so select option this keyword you will have to use right so you are providing the different option for selecting that's the meaning of select option okay here you don't have any option you have the single option right here you have multiple option that's why the name is something like that select options generally we start with the s here you can see the parameter i'm starting with p so this is the naming convention we follow Select option is underscore CR underscore DAT. Okay. Type here, you don't have to use the type actually. It is having, uh, you, you have to use foster work area. Okay. So I want to use the existing tables as a work area. So I'm having a table called Mara. Already it is there. I want to use this Mara structure as a work area in my program. What I will do that. I, what I will do that I will use a keyword called tables and you know I will give the name of this Mara so this Mara name will be have like a structure or this will be have like a work area okay so you will give the for and then Mara for which field you want E R S D A right that's it select option this for this give the stop over here check the syntax now activate it activate press f8 and this time you can see that nice select option you are getting right you are getting the good select option over here so what i will do that the parameter option i will disable i don't require okay select option i require i want to give the range over here right now in this range you can see you are not getting any f4 help over here the material type right you are not getting the material type come over here and see this material type somewhere you will see here the m type or if you're not able to see you can just search you can see this mtart is there double click over here so it's taking the property of the data element right um what i'm doing over here i'm giving the type data element over here right let me make it little large so it's taking the property of the data element so on the data element level if you see that this m tart is there 
in the further characteristic there is no search help that's why it is not taking anything okay that's why if you would have given some search help over here it will you know it would have been it would have been provided the search help option over here but there is no search help okay right now i will show you one more important part suppose if you have some parameter for example you are getting some parameter called uh, uh, material suppose material itself you are getting as a parameter and this matnr if you are getting this as a data element okay so what will happen that if you double click on this matner you go in the further characteristic for this data element already we are having the search help over here right so now if you go back and run the program press f8 and here this is the material number you can see here it is coming from where it is coming from that search help it is coming but i don't want to get the select uh, on the selection screen this material number so just i am disabling this one just i wanted to show you how it works right fine so this you understood now at the domain level if you go you know at the value range you can see one value table is there right one value table is there so it might have been used as a check table on the data dictionary level on the table level right we know that the value table is getting proposed as a check table when we are going to create the dependency or foreign key relationship for any field so this mtit is the right is my field and if you want and come over here on the input help check you can see the same check table is there whatever you have seen over there on the value table right so the same check table is there if you want to get the search help you, you can see here on mara if you are going to come over here on the mara level go to sc 16 n this program is having some problem every time it goes into dump okay so go here press enter here also some problem is there so this is the basis problem if we're going to get such kind of problem but here you can see it is telling the above programming error so we can also try to check it once if it is the above programming error you can see that the test one no component exists so every time when i'm opening this mara table it goes into dump right so let me check if i can quickly fix it tab to pnm rs table list create okay while creating the list it is giving the error the fluent syntax error occurred in the program no component then i'll test one let's search if there is some component called test one no i will check this one offline some problem is there in the standard one itself come over here this is fine here mara you can see and at this mara level uh what i was trying to show you yeah here you can see that the material type here you are getting the option right here you are getting the f4 help right search help you are getting so how you were able to get this one actually how you were able to get this one you were able to get because at the mara table level we are having the check table applied over there right we have applied the check table over there come to this mara once again and this m tart let us see this m tart over here right go to input help and check and you can see t134 so the data is coming from the t134 right now i'm just giving using this m tart i'm telling to the system instead of using this data element i'm going to use this you know field of this particular mara table so that it will take the property of this mara table okay this mara table this uh, field is having check table associated with this so i'm going to tell to the system instead of using directly m tart okay 
I'm going to use Mara hyphen M tart. So it will take the check table property and it will give you the search help option over here. Now you can see the search help option is coming over here. So if no search help is defined and if check table is defined is defined at the table level directly you can give the ta table name hyphen the field name this is also fine and it will take the property of the field and it will show you the you know uh, search help so these two uh, requirement we have already defined now let's write a select query to get the data select matnr i want to get right then mtrt i want to get then mbrsh and then matkl from mara into table we'll have to define one a structure for getting the data so how to define the structure we know right so i'm going to define these types begin of ts underscore mara all the defining defining the structure and all is the good practice to define at the top okay but here as of now i'm defining all the definition I will put at the top just I'm defining over here so that it will be clearly visible for everyone okay begin of ts underscore mara matnr type matnr then mtart type mtart then mbrsh type mbrsh and then mat KL type MAT KL end of TS underscore Mara. Okay, I will first define one internal table data IT underscore Mara type table of TS underscore Mara, right? And another I will define one work area w underscore mara type ts underscore mara so into table it underscore mara so now i got this four data from this table into this now what i will do that i want to print it so it underscore mara and loop and i will start printing this one so write <coughs> and get this data into a, a work area w underscore mara right w underscore mara hyphen control space matnr select give the comma w a underscore mara hyphen again control space then give the mtit then give once again comma w a underscore mara hyphen control space then you will get this option and this time mbrss give the comma w underscore mara hyphen m a t k l one important thing you'll have to take care from the performance point of view that the sequence in which this field is there in the table in the same sequence we are supposed to define the structure and in the same sequence we are supposed to put the select query this is from the performance point of view this is one important point so here if you come into this table that matner is first so i have put the matner over here first right and uh, the date ersda if you are interested to get the date you can get the date also right so here we are supposed to write because at the second place date is there right so ersda okay so after that we are having the m tart so m tight is there then mbrsh mbrsh and then matical so in the same sequence it is there so it is fine it is good for the system it will be easy to face the data they don't have to do more manipulation so for the on the database layer it will be easy for them if if something is in, in sequence it's easy to uh, get the data from there for the program right so it's getting the data in the same sequence whatever the sequence over here in the same sequence you will have to put because the internal table we have declared with the reference of this uh, table and the date uh, and the field will be there in the same sequence so we must have to put here in the same sequence and that's the better practice right so here 
you can also beautify a little bit right it all depends on how much you can beautify right so readability it depends on in our hand that how much we want to improve the readability of our code right so like that this is one field another field another field another field so if someone is going to read this code it will be easy for them to read and understand right so like that i have just done it loop at uh, from the work uh, on the internal table one by one i'm getting the record and putting into this work area right and i'm displaying this one okay so uh if you check the syntax there should not be any error activate it activate it press f8 and as of now i'm not passing anything just press f8 and you can see the data is coming in this format right it is coming in this format because you know the uh, it is it is first writing the material then material type industry sector material group again the material number material type industry sector. so in the row it is displaying right i want to display one after another right in the new line I want to display in the new line. So what I will do that I will put a slash over here. It's meaning that it will first it will in one row it will print again in the second row it will print means in the next loop. In the first loop this data will be printed. When the next loop will be a start, this will be executed and it will take the control on the next line and then it will print. Similarly, it will because in the loop one by one it will start getting printed and now if we'll see you will see the data in the you know readable format you will see right so the material number material type industry sector and this now i want to uh, you know give the label so i want to give the label so what i will do that i will write over here and first is my material correct then i am having the material type m a t mat type then we are having the industry sector right and then we are having the material group m a t underscore group okay so just activate this one activate press f it f it and you can see that material material type industry sector and material group it is coming but it is not aligned so how to do the alignment so for doing the alignment what i will do that you know you can see over here this material is taking this much space from here to here okay from here to here it's taking a space why because it of car 40. if you see the data element of this material number it is car 40. so by default it is taking the length of the material number so what i'm going to do that for this particular material I'm going to reserve the 40 space on the label itself so that it's it will be aligned right so after the 40 space I'm going to print this material type okay after the 40 space I'm going to print this material material type this material type by default is of four characters if you see here its data element it is of four characters right care four so it will by default take the four characters but this material type at the label this label length if you see it's a eight character so again it will be a problem right so 40 plus 4 if we're going to give over here the 44 it will not get properly aligned industry sector is only of one character but here industry sector i'm writing in a uh, you know uh, longer this fill length is longer right it's around nine or ten characters right so 44 and 1 i'm just going to give 45 but it will not solve my purpose okay just activate it activate press f it f it and you can see that material material i mat something something got mismatched so to avoid this scenario what i'm going to do i'm going to give the minimum space at least how much it's going to cover so 4 plus 4 it's of 8 characters right it is of eight characters so 40 plus 8 it's a, should be 48 and just i am going to uh, give for my convenient 50 over here 40 some extra space i am going to give and for the industry sector this also i'm going to take some more space or i will just remove this one intersect i will put intersect so 
for this also i'm going to take some 10 spaces over there so it will be 60 over here all right and now to make a line everything the same space here also we have to give right so after 40 characters just print this material type after 50 characters just print this industry sector and after 60 characters just print this material group that's it this time we will see that it will be properly aligned okay you can see that material the material type industry sector and the material group this is properly aligned now if you want to give some gap over there so what you can do that you know a skip you can give again you can give the skip so two line gap will be there between the header and you can see the two line gap we got material material type industry sector material type if you want to give some more space in between if you want to because so large space you are having if you want to make it more uh you know clear so to make that this make is this 40 over here instead of 40 what you can do that uh, between material and material type it is there so 45 you can make and here you can make uh you know 65 right and here 20 also you can give over here so 65 plus 20 how much it's uh, or maybe you can give 15 or 20 it's fine 85 just give it over here and that's it and here also whatever you have kept the same you will have to keep so that everything will be there in the aligned way right so just i'm going to give over here like this okay activate this one activate press effect effect and you can see that this is material material type industry sector and material group now it is clearly visible if you want to give this uh, line right if you want to draw the line that also possible you can draw the line in between okay let's draw the line okay so here for drawing the line what we'll have to do we have a system variable called b line psi v line and it's a value is you know uh it's a value is psi v line value is this one this is the psi v line value this one so it will draw a single line right so i'm going to draw that line so first i will print this material number then uh, then after 40 characters let's uh, print this uh, uh psi v line after the 45 characters so that it will be properly aligned otherwise it will be a problem control v give the comma over here right then copy this one and everywhere the psi v line you can put it okay so now what i'm going to do that you know i will arrange in this way so that it will be little, little easy right and psi v line copy this one paste it over here that's it and here give the comma and here this material group it will take some you know the, the material group also if you want to give over here it's after the 85 and it will take how much uh three to five five plus five four it's going to take nine so let me take a 10. so here you can give the 95 so that at last also the vertical line will appear over there pretty printer check the syntax activate this one got activated press effect and you can see the line is coming properly over here right so this is how you can print the line if you want to put some color right you can give the color as well okay so for this material number if you want to put the color what you can do that you can write the color five right for this material type if you want to put the color then you can put the color like this color six then color seven so you have from one to seven uh, from zero to seven you have the color option that you can use okay so here i'm going to give the color zero okay so now you have this color also enabled okay check this 
some error is there let's correct this error first it is telling zero is not valid okay zero is not there we'll put the from one to seven only it's valid activate this one activate press f8 f8 and you can see the color is coming right this is the material number the material type this industry sector and the material group so color also we can print it now what i want to do that here also if you want to you know uh, put the line so similarly you can use this side v line and you can put it over there there is no problem okay so still we are having some more formatting we will see uh, in uh, you know uh, we will see step by step we'll see all those things if some some more formatting option right okay now i want to put the wear condition uh, currently it is getting the data every data from the mara table i want to get the data only based upon the given criteria right you can see that you can see that over here that if i'm not passing over here anything you know and i'm pressing f8 it's just getting data uh, you know uh, data and it's just displaying right what's the meaning of giving this data over here for the user it will be confusing right so if we are not going to give anything right we have to uh, we, we will have to uh, define we have to tell to the system suppose if you want to put some validation kind of stuff right if, if you have given the material type there must be given some data over there sometimes what happens in the select option we generally don't give anything right so if you don't give anything it is supposed to take all the data all right so this is the inbuilt feature we will see but for the parameter generally for providing this parameter we are supposed to get the data or if suppose for not getting this data right if you don't want to get the data in this that's also fine but you have to you know uh, you have to handle differently over here okay we will see that one come over here give the wear condition right so first we will see the wear condition i want to get only those material which is having the material type equal to the given material type on the selection screen so what material type we are passing from the selection screen p underscore m dot copy this one and paste it over here okay so this is the aware condition if you activate it it will now work right put the breakpoint over here press f8 give some data over here feit press f8 so material type is feit so in the wear condition you can see the feit is there in the wear condition right it is flowing the data through these parameters okay now press f6 and you can see that in it underscore mara 526 materials is there Whose material type is FEIT? You can see all this FEIT is all this is only FEIT. Total number of count is 526, right? And if you press F8, you can see that this is showing the data FEIT, 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 right? Now, if you want to get the data only specific to some date, so I'm going to give the date from 2 June to today's date, okay? give the two days date right so i'm um, going to create one variant so to create the variant we'll have to click on this save button so that every time this variant will be saved demo 28 i'm just giving test click on this save button okay and this is my variant the select option i'm not putting in the where condition anywhere we'll have to put in the where condition right so in the where condition how you put the select option over here we'll have to write where i'll we'll have to give the and we uh, sorry and and then we'll have to pass this what this c r d a t right so and c r d a t in this one you'll have to pass like this so you are going to tell to the system that in where condition if parameter is there then we'll have to use the equal to sign okay 
the parameter is there then you'll have to use the equal to sign if you have the select option you will have to use the in sign okay you'll have to use the in sign so if select option is there you can also use the cp contains pattern also in and contain patterns generally we use or not in we will see I will, I will show you as of now what we will do that i'm going to use the in sign okay check this syntax some error is there it is telling uh it does not know this name i think c r d a t no no yeah it was e r s d actually this is the actual field name i'll have to pass this field name over here check this syntax now activate this one activate okay so now what will happen whatever you will give the range over there right whatever you will give the range over there i have given this range right i have created this variant so from the variant i have selected and automatically it got filled right press f8 okay press f8 and once you press f8 you will see that for the select option you know the two field we are having right here is the header segment and here you are having the uh, body segment i will try to make you understand okay about this what is this header and what is this body but you can see the select option right i'm going to click on this parameter uh, parameter also you can see it is having the single value but if you see for the select option you are having one header part right you can see this topi right this hat you can see so this is called the header part right and this is the body part okay in this body part you can see it is having sign option low and high four field it is having so this is your internal table this is a kind of internal table your internal table also looks like this only right sign option low high or some field will be there in your internal table right if i show you my internal table over here it underscore mara you can see here it is having the row the first it is showing about the index partner this is the field name right this is the data type it is showing ersda mtart mbrsh right and then matkl so this is like internal table so the same you can see the select option is nothing but a internal table with a header line containing the field what sign option low and high so what is the definition of the select option the so select option definition is the you know if someone is going to ask what is the definition of the select option we are supposed to tell select options what is the definition so it is an internal table with header line okay containing the field what sign option low and high sign means what sign we are having including and excluding including and excluding okay then option there are different option we are having low and high i will show you those option over here if you just press f8 just go back press f8 yeah here you can see double click over here you can see that you know you have two here you can see the select and exclude you have two option over here select and exclude okay and you have different sign sorry uh, just uh, you know uh, uh, here here this is actually option you are having for the select sign you can understand something like this we are having two sign one is select right for each sign either we are going to you know include or exclude either we can include or exclude so for the include sign we are having different option over here equal to right greater than or equal to less than or equal to greater than less than or not equal to so these are the option you are having right you can use if you want to exclude some value over there you can use this one and the same if you want to exclude then also you are having this select option so select option is going to be same 
right this select option this select option is associated with sign okay so you can see these are the technical value name okay these are the technical value name of those option okay i just copied from there and pasted over here it is showing you the technical value name okay but my intention is to show you over here that let me copy this one and i will paste it over there okay So uh, this is known as the sign actually two option you are having this is sign and the here what you have is known as the option select option so you can see here from here you can get the information that what is the meaning so just uh, basic understanding we should have right so this is the select options there are different select option we are having correct copy this one and i will paste it in the ppt slides okay and low is nothing but what is the low over here this portion is known as low and this is known as high okay this is known as low and that's the known as high okay just a second okay here i will do this is low and this is a high we are having this is known as low and this is known as a high so just to understand like this now what we will see that if you don't pass uh, value in the you know let me open a new slide and i'll paste fine it is there fine so if you are not going to pass the value over here you know if you're going to pass a single value for example if you're going to pass the single value over here nine okay so it will consider only the nine okay it will not consider the upper value okay it will consider it will get the data only from the 9th june okay it will get the data only from the 9th june which has been created so i will show you come over here first and activate this press f8 and mtart i'm giving feit and from the 9th june let us see if some data we are going to get or not f6 it underscore mara you can see that zero record is there so for today's there was no record got created okay no record got created so but if we're going to give some range over here for example from first june to, to till today how many records got created right press f8 press f6 and you can see that it in this camera 462 records between 1 june to 9 june it got created and it will display the data so this is going to be have depends on how you are going to use you know how you are going to use the select query right so suppose what by default i am going to do over here if i'm going to give this one june by default this equal option is getting selected by default by default this equal option is getting selected right that's why you are it is showing the data from the first zone but if we're going to select the greater than over here right if you select this greater than it will get all the data from uh, after the first zone right though if you're not going to give over here anything 
right it will take all the data greater than first june right so the different option you are having right so you can see that you are getting okay we are not getting any data over here as of now i'll show you why we are not getting any data come over here s underscore c underscore that it is you can see that greater than r equal to right so uh if the date is going to be greater than or equal to uh let me go to the mara table sc underscore we have already and we will see if the greater than uh slash n sc 16 n go to mara created on and select over here also this is also you are having the select option only what you are having over here select option click on this button right here together you are able to see there uh, in the you know different uh, way we were able to get so i'm selecting this greater than symbol over here and just uh, giving the first zone over here and we will see if we're getting the data or not right it is showing 463 records so this is my expectation from my program also right and there i'm passing the uh, material type feit okay click on this number of entry here also you can see so on both the condition 462 right we have to get but we are not getting right you can see that it is i underscore mara is zero okay so now one option what we have that why it's not working that i will just i will show you if we're going to use the cp over here uh contains pattern no e r s t a this is the in just a second one zone it is fine we are going to use this greater than or equal to option over here right or let me check this greater than press f8 f6 it underscore mara it is showing the zero record Here the option also we are having the GT, it is fine. This is good. Then what is the problem? Just a second. If we are going to give the CP, we have the option called contains pattern, but this contains pattern, why it's not working? Let me check, press F1 over here. We will see the syntax which syntax will have to provide for the select option right so select this is the main query in the where condition okay select where sql condition right where sql condition click on the sql condition and then you can see that we are having the uh, operand between that is fine all any equals to escape wherever in is there that means you know it is going to provide it as a select option okay i will check this one uh, it will take time if i'm going to do this research over here uh, i will check why it's not showing it is supposed to show okay when i'm writing this in but some problem is there you know some something i'm doing the mistake i will check this one comment as of now and what i'm going to do uh, but but when we are passing the data right the greater than or equal to sign is not working okay something i'm missing over here but other thing you can see that other thing is working right if we're going to pass the value first june to 9 june this is there is no problem in this if you have if you are going to pass the range this in you will have to give over here that's a that's a sure right 462 records we are getting the data also we are getting now 
what I have to do that suppose if you have passed some data, right? Suppose if you have passed some data from the selection screen, okay? So uh, FEIT or maybe we're going to pass, uh, yeah, FEIT let's give and 2019, I'm just going 2019 and here also 1 June 2019, 2019. Just I want to see how many records it's coming. You can see the size of RC is 4. That means you don't have any records over here, zero records. So in such scenario, I want to, why, why to go here and there and do all these stuff, right? Not required. So what I will do that, I will go and write a code over here. So after each select statement, we are supposed to do the size of RC check. It is mandatory practice. It's a mandatory practice. Just remember it. If size of RC is equal to zero, then it's fine. Just go ahead. But if it is not equal to zero, what you do that, you know, exit from here, you can give some message that no record found no record found and full stop and exit from this program check the syntax now okay you have to define the type of the message what kind of uh, you know what kind of message you want to define so this will be obviously a information message right there is no uh, there is no value defined right for this particular time period and now if you press f8 you no know, press f8 you can see the no record found it is telling because there is no data but if we are going to pass the 2020 over here 2020 over here there are so many data to uh, 469 records it was there it will not show you any problem over here press f8 and you can see you are able to get the data right so this is how you can display the message, right? This is how you can display the message. So this is one important every time you have to do the check over here. Now we will see some events related stuff, right? So by default, if you come over here, you know, we are having in the program different different events we are having, right? So let me show you the very first event when any program run load of program this event get triggered load of program the second event what you have initialization initialization this gets triggered on the second then you are having at selection screen okay then you are having at selection a screen output Okay. Then you are having you no know, at selection screen. After this, uh, following to the at selection screen, you can have some more event at selection screen for uh, on value request for some particular field. If you want to pass some search help kind of stuff, then. You can pass it over here at selection screen on value request for at selection screen output you know uh, uh, then a start of selection then you have end of selection this has been obsolete now but we use okay end of selection top of page then end of page Okay, so these are the different events we are having available. Okay, these are some uh, basic report event. Okay, this is a normal report event. Apart from that, we are having some interactive report event that also we will see. Okay, so that event, just let me tell you over here, we are having at line selection this is the interactive report event okay then at user command then at pfn we have 
this at pfn so these are some at line selection at user command at pfn these are the frequently used events we are having okay this is this will come under the uh, you know interactive event okay here this is the classical event or normal report event we can tell and this is the interactive report event so when we are going to create the interactive report interactive report means when you will click on the on a screen right suppose if you have the meaning of interactive report means if you are going to click on this okay if you're going to click on this and if you want to find some further information on further related uh, means further uh, related record if you want to find then you can double click over here and you will be able to so it will take you some another screen okay so that's the interactive report I mean it's interactive okay if you're clicking over there it's going to give you the response so this is the classical report this is the interactive report these are the events you will have to practice okay copy this one and i will just paste it over here in this ppt fine so by default if you don't give any event over here you know everything is going to run inside the start of selection okay everything is going to run inside the start of selection event okay so <clears throat> a start of selection event is going to be you know a start of selection this event is going to be there in beginning okay here maybe after the report we can put it and we can check control f2 and activate it activate it press f8 and you can see that it's working over here right it's working in the same way right so by default the start of selection event will be there just remove it okay so why this event is required actually why what is the use of this event so the very first event when any program runs it calls the load of program event okay so this event is uh, provide like if you are going to take any action based upon that action the particular events get triggered right so if we're going to run this program okay i'm just uh, uh, uh writing some statement like a skip okay so that you can put the breakpoint and if you put the breakpoint over here you know if you run this program the very first event the load of program will get executed and if you want to do something over here while loading the program you can write those statement over here just run it and you can see that it got triggered right and after that nothing will get triggered okay if you press f8 you can see uh, illegal interruption load of program so the place where we have put the load of program event is not the correct place that's why it is giving the error so that will have to be little careful like where we are going to put the event okay come over here and we will put on some different place okay so here we are having the load of program and then we have used the skip button that's the problem okay so just activate it okay put the break point on load of program itself it's a break point we can put activate it and you can see that you know press f8 it has stopped over here right the load of program event got first executed you can see the load of program event is here right here you can see that the first event load of program got loaded into the memory again it is giving the dump okay so it is giving the dump because that is not at the actual place 
once we will having some a little more program illegal interruption of the load of program event it is telling it is not the right place okay but no problem once this program is going to be a little larger at that point of time i will show you where you can use actually okay but the first event which is going to be loaded that is the load of program event so this is your first event then what you have the second event is the initialization event the second event is your initialization event this is going to get triggered so suppose if you have to initialize some value over here okay so before uh, for example uh, p underscore m tart type we are having these parameters right so this parameter directly we can put it over here right so paste it over here okay and all this one whatever the declaration and all you have done just before initialization you can do right after this load of program and before initialization we can do cut from here so in beginning it's better uh, it's better to give in beginning okay so i have done over there parameters this is fine breakpoint parameters also let me initialization it's fine over here i will comment this one okay so the declaration part just after the program this load of program event will get triggered first if we are going to enable this one or by default system will also trigger the load of program first by default okay by default system i will show you that one initialization over here you can see the p underscore mtar type mara and here if you want to pass some default value if you want to initialize some default value okay so this default also we can pass some example fert okay if you want to pass this fert value okay and if you want to pass the mandatory also okay obligatory you can add it so it will be mandatory if you you must have to pass this uh, value if you don't pass then it will you can see that after this load of program here by default the load of program will be your uh, will get loaded first uh, system exit pbo module pool okay load of program we are not able to see over here but that is the first event by default by the system that gets loaded that also i will show you in the debugging here we are not able to see but in the debugging the load of program events gets triggered fine press effect okay you can see the by default feit is coming over here if we're just going to remove it the obligatory sign you can see the this sign is coming over here this sign right that means the obligatory sign you must have to pass this value you have to pass some value if you don't pass some value if you try to run it will tell fill this value fill out all required entry fields right just to go back so we understood this so in initialization instead of this if you want to initialize some value in another way right so this is one way how we can initialize another way with the help of this initialization you know uh, event if you want to do what you can do just uh, just uh, first declare this and pass this value as a m tart over here right so before going over there you know it will put the value and you can see the mtr is coming over here that's what i have passed over so whatever you will pass the value automatically it will come so the first event gets loaded the load of program then the initialization and then we are going to have the add selection screen so if you have to put some validation then we are going to use this event so this we will see tomorrow some problem is there let me check select options are not allowed form routine and get is active active what is this select options tables okay it should be before okay this option should be before of this you know at, at selection screen i have given there no so that's the problem either you keep in initialization or just put at top okay so here in initialization i can put over here there is no problem and then 
this tables mara it's better to keep at top so all the declaration it's a best practice to put at but check the syntax now there is no problem activate this one activate and it is fine now and tomorrow we will see how we can apply the validation apply the validation so if you are going to do the validation so what kind of validation validation means if you are going to give some incorrect material type you are passing some value that's fine but whether this is correct or not that how we are going to deal with we will handle under this at selection a screen right just put the breakpoint over here okay activate this one and i will show you this event whenever you press enter or something no at selection screen events get triggered so if you just press enter you can see that this event got triggered if you don't write this event and then if you press enter nothing will happen so that's the importance of this event okay if you don't have written if you have not written that at selection screen and if you press enter nothing would have happened with this let's stop our class today here at 45 it's there please let me know if you have any question one action is on me why that one the greater than is not working and tomorrow we'll see some more stuff the validation we will see we'll see some uh, more stuff related with selection screen if time permits tomorrow we'll see how to handle with the dynamic selection screen okay before that if you get some time you can go i have already created some videos on the dynamic selection screen on the youtube there you can go and you can check that will be uh, good if you can see those video okay uh, there so it will be easy for you to understand the tomorrow class okay if you have any question feel free otherwise we are going to stop the session over here okay some question is here maybe what is actually report and what is the purpose of creating a report okay fine another question what is exact use of end of selection okay we will see this end of selection okay what we are going to so when we have to display the report at that time we are going to use this end of selection end of selection means our selection has been completed and now we have to display the report okay we have to display the data so that part actually we do at end of selection now it has been obsolete okay other in uh, yeah okay fine in some of the in many of the interview question they have asked such questions so that is the use actually and what is the purpose of creating the report uh, what is actually report and what is the purpose of creating a report so report is nothing but you know that the report term itself means you are going to represent some data in some list format okay in some sequence you are going to represent the data so that it's easy for someone to analyze the report is nothing but the presentation of data in a specific format with labels so that the people can understand about the information what it is going to get presented over there okay okay uh, now the here i told same answer but they did not convince to that answer so it's their problem okay you can google it more about or you can go on the you know documentation sap documentation and you will be able to see the same thing okay so this is the meaning of end of selection however it has been obsolete but if you want to learn more about the end of selection this end of selection stands for that only okay you can go and you can check on the sap standard documentation if someone is not getting convinced we cannot do anything uh, rather we can tell them that in sap standard documentation this is what we can read and this is what we can observe and this is what we generally do in the practical okay so whenever we have to display the data we display under the end of selection if we're not going to write that end of selection by default system uh, whenever like for example here we are displaying the data so this is nothing but under the end of selection you can put this end of selection okay end of selection 
this is the end of selection i'll have to write like this that's it and if you press f8 you will be able to see the same data okay there will be no problem okay fine any other question if you have it's okay otherwise we can just stop our session over here i will meet tomorrow and uh, other people so assignment yeah yes i'm just giving this yeah. over here uh let me open that uh, excel sorry uh this is our report so for report let's create one different excel the report part is important please keep on uh you know everyone uh try to complete this assignment report assignment what you do that you know uh in activity one activity one what you'll have to do get the martner uh, then auart this is the sales order type okay and similarly get some two or three more fields from the creation date when the sales order was created right creation date change date from the bbak table okay so any four or five field just you take from the bbak table based upon based on the you know uh get the maybe what you can do the based upon the auart okay and the creation date and this creation date this creation date and auit get from the selection screen auit this you get from the get from the selection screen okay this creation date make it creation date make it as a select option so that you can pass the range and this auart make this one as a parameter make this way a parameter okay so based on the aot and creation this this is the fine and just print the output in beautiful you know beautiful format so all that format technique in some different color right in with color is all the field you uh whatever field is there for each field use the different color as we have done today right and gives some proper space proper space so that it will be readable so that it will be readable okay and after each select query after each select query you must check the size of rc okay after each select query you must check the size sub rc is the standard sap practice if no data found if no data found then display a message that no data found display a message that no data found okay if no data found then display message if uh, and just return back just exit from there and exit from there exit from there don't go ahead why to go ahead if there is no data right there is no meaning so to improve the performance just exit if there if data is there then only you go ahead and 
display the record so this is one simple assignment just try to complete this assignment okay and you can also use the event over there the start of selection so i have not shown you the event in detail maybe initialization you can use initialization use the initialization use obligatory keyword use obligatory keyword to make the parameter as mandatory as mandatory you can use the default value default keyword default keyword to pass the default value on the selection screen right so this just do this one and apart from this i don't think so anything is uh, required it's okay right just complete this one and tomorrow uh, tomorrow i will give you some more uh, just remind me like this you know and please complete this one okay is it clear this requirement is clear or do you want me to explain once again no sir it's clear okay take the screenshot don't wait for my upload over there take this screenshot it's easy to take the screenshot right and then uh let's stop over here bye bye have a nice day Thank you.